Welcome back to Math Kindergarten Mathematicians. Can you believe it's already Friday? Whew, this week went by fast. That's what happens when you have fun. So just like we do every day, we're going to start with practicing our 20 frame. So I'm going to show you my desk and I have my counters. Now my counters are these buddies here, but you at home can use anything that is available to you at home. I've used erasers, pebbles, some beans, little small toys. Yeah, whatever is available to you. And you can make your 20 frame even bigger if you have those big, large construction papers. That could be fun. So here we have our 20 frame again. And let's go ahead and start by counting and filling up that first 10 frame. One, two, three, four and five. Oh, the first row is done. How many do I have? That's five. So the next row, how many are we going to put on that row? One, two, three, four, five. And that means that the first 10 frame is all full. No blank spaces. What does that mean, friends? How many do I have now? I have 10 because my 10 frame is full. Let's go to the next 10 frame. I count from one over here. No, I have to look at these. I already have 10. So then this would be 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's keep going. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Remember friends, if you have one 10 frame full, you have 10. But if you have two 10 frames full, you have 20. Thank you for practicing and reviewing that with me. That's gonna make sure that we keep remembering because practice makes perfect. Now, remember those teen cars that we had from yesterday? If you don't have them, that's okay. You can just look at the ones that I have because what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be representing these numbers on the 20 frame because at the end we have some 20 frames that I'm gonna show you. We're gonna practice where you call out that number that you see, just like we did before with our five frame and our 10 frame. So we're gonna start with the first one that comes after 10, that is 11. So here's my 20 chart, because remember, I have two 10 charts, because we're going all the way to 20, because we're kindergarten smart, represent. 11 on this 20 chart. You ready? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So remember how back on Tuesday, Mrs. Reeves showed us that we don't have to keep counting this 10 frame over and over again. We don't have to because we already know that this 10 frame, when it's full and there's no spaces open, it equals 10. That's a 10 frame. Now we go to the next 10 frame and we start counting after that 10. So if I add one here, it's 10, 11. Good job. Now I'm gonna represent 12. So I already know I have 10 here. Ready? 11, 12. Look at that. That's 12. All right. I have 13. 10, 11, 12, 13. Now 14. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. If I add one more, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's keep going. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We already know that this is five. And if I do the 10 all the way to here, that's 15. 15, Ooh, 16. Let's keep going. 10, 15, 16, 17. 
One more. 10. Everyone at the top is full, so that means that's 15. 16, 17, 18. One more. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And friends, the easiest one of all, even though it's the biggest number, it's the easiest one because look, this 10 frame is completely full. That means it's 10. And this 10 frame is completely full. That's another 10. So if I have my 20 frame completely full, no empty spaces, what does that give me? 20, because it's my 20 frame. 20. So now I'm going to do some practicing with you. I'm going to show you some 20 frame cards. That means that I'm going to show you an image with a 20 frame with some of those counters on that 20 frame. What you're going to do is you're going to try your hardest to make sure you identify it the fastest and yell out the answer. Are you ready? This one. We're going to start with the very easy peasy one. I know you can do this one. Ready? Cut it out as soon as you know it. That's right. That's two. One, two. Good job. Ready for the next one? What number do you see represented on the 20 frame? 20 frame. Remember, if it's all full, completely no blank squares, it's... 20. Good job. I knew I couldn't trick you. All right. And let's do this one. Okay. So you see that the two top ones are full. That's our first 10 frames. So you know you have 10. All you have to do is just count the rest. <gasps> Great job. It's 14. Just like the one we did earlier. And last but not least, you ready? Shout it out when you have it. Perfect, it's 11. Did you get it? Did you get them all? Woo! So friends, today you will be practicing your representation of numbers up to 20 with your 10 frame. That's just a fancy way of saying you're gonna be watching these cool videos and yelling out the numbers that you recognize on the screen. Try and beat our friend, Jack Hartman. That's it. Have a great weekend. Enjoy subitizing with our friend, Jack Hartman. Bye, friends.